Hello, my name is Lisa Shea, and today we're going to fold an origami balloon. Balloons are great shapes to fold. They are uh, three-dimensional and puffy, and you can use them as balloons or as mounts for other things to sit on top of or all sorts of other different kinds of purposes. So it's a great shape to learn how to make, and it's a lot of fun because you actually puff it up when you're done. So let's find a paper that we're going to use for our balloon. Some people like it when I use plain papers, some people like it when I use textured papers because it helps them see the folding a little more, so we're going to go with this one. But let me know if you want me to try a different paper because you think that it might be easier to see some of the folds with a different paper. Alright, so that's the paper we're going to work with. To start with, if you have a two-sided paper, put it with the non-colored side up. If your paper is colored on both sides, then put it the side up that you want to be on the inside of your shape. And we're going to start by folding it in half. So it doesn't matter which way you hold it, because the paper is a square. So the way to get a good fold is to slide the two edges together that you want to line up. Wait until you get it lined up, and then hold it with one hand. With the other hand, drag the finger to the opposite side to get a crease and then drag the finger up on one side and down on the other side. And that way you get a nice sharp crease in the side. And if you're using non-origami paper, it won't crease quite as nicely, but it will still work. So now we're going to fold this in half again. So we're going to take one of these sides that we just worked on, fold it up so it meets the other side, get the two of them to match as best you can, and again, hold it with one finger, and then slide the other finger down to create the crease. Over to one side and over to the other side. Alright, so now we have a smaller square and it has the two parts to it. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to squash each side down into a triangle shape. So if we have this with one of the sides pointing up at the ceiling, we are going to squash it like that. So squash it like that. And what we're aiming for is for this ridge line at the top of our shape to come down on top of this inner fold there. So you see how that squashes like that? And again, this works better if you're using origami paper, but regular paper should do this as well. Alright, so we are going to Carefully slide with our finger and not quite creasing it until we're sure that we've got it where we want it to go. We're just sort of pushing and once we get it to line up so that it makes all of these edges fall on top of the lower edges, now we're going to press and give that a crease there and we're going to press along the crease on the side and press along the crease on the other side. All right, so now we have a triangle on this piece where it got squashed down, and the other side is still a square, so now we're going to flip the piece over. So we are going to raise this edge up towards the ceiling, just as we did before, and what helps with this is if we fold it all the way over to the other side, and give it a bit of a crease in the other direction, that will help with the folding. So now it's creased on this side, and it's creased on this side. And now when we point it up at the ceiling, again, if we start pushing on that back bridge line, it will naturally want to fold down into a triangle. So we just give it a little wiggling, a little pushing, until we get this in line the way that we want it to be, so that this center fold line comes down on top of the center line beneath it. And once we're sure that those line up and that everything looks nice and straight, now we give it a crease there. We crease along one edge and we crease along the other edge. Alright, so now that everything is creased, what we've got is a shape that looks like that. So we've got two triangles, it goes in on each side. From the bottom you can see the two triangles and it goes in and on each side. This is a base form for much of origami, 
So once you have practiced and figured this out, you will find that it comes in very helpful. All right, so once we are at this stage, our next step is to fold any of the four points, because we're going to do this on all four sides, any of these four points up to the top point. So that's the top of our pyramid, we'll call it. All right, so we're going to fold, and we're not going to crease yet. We're just going to do this softly until we get the point up to where it belongs. Once we get that top point, and I'll turn this a little so you can see with my fingers. All right, so I've held down that top point so that it's up against the top of the pyramid. Now I'm going to slide my finger down, slide it in one direction, slide it in the other direction, and that helps get that side sharp. So now we've got one of the four points pointing up towards the top area. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on all other three sides. So we're going to take this point and we're going to bring it up towards the top area. So again, we're going to do this soft until we get the point where we need it. Once we get that point up there, we're going to hold it down with the finger. We're going to slide our finger down towards the edge that needs to be creased. Crease in one direction, crease in the other direction. Now we've got two of them done. We're going to turn the whole thing upside down. So once again, we have a triangle shape with two loose parts and then the top part. So we're going to fold one of these points up towards the top. We just do it loose until we get it about where we want it. We hold it down with a finger. We drag and then we crease. And now we've got the remaining point. We're going to fold that up to get towards the top. We hold it down with a finger. We're going to drag our finger towards the creasing side. And then we're going to crease in the two directions. All right, so now we have something that looks like this. It has four loose triangle parts. This bottom side is solid. All right, so with the four pointy parts towards the top of the area, so pointing away from you, we're now going to fold each of these side points in towards the center. And I find this a little easier to fold if a side point is pointing towards me so that I can fold it straight away from me. So I'm going to fold gently so that this top point goes straight away from me. And then I'm going to crease down the two sides. So you see how the top point of the pyramid is pointing straight at that center line and is pretty symmetrical in each side. And this face is parallel to that center line there. All right, we're going to do this three more times. So again, I'm going to turn it so that the point is towards me. And so I'm folding straight away from me. I'm folding it so that the point goes to that center line so that the back side is parallel with the center line and then push down the crease. The paper is getting a little thick by this point with all this fold so this will get a little harder and again if you have thicker paper it might be trickier. This is generally easier with thinner paper. All right, so we're going to turn the whole thing over so we can do that again two more times. Going to fold that point in towards that center line. And then we're going to crease. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to fold that point in towards that center line. And we're going to crease it. All right, so now we have a shape that looks like this. So it's sort of a trapezoid, I guess. A hexagon, a squashed hexagon. All right, so one side of this shape is connected. All of that stuff up there is connected. The other side of the shape has loose flaps. So you see there's two loose flaps there. And then the other side is the two loose flaps. So we want the side with the loose flaps 
away from us up towards the top of the paper. And I'm trying to do this standing up, but I'm going to have to sit down for this part, I think, to be able to get closer into it. So hopefully you can still hear me well. All right, so this part of it, we've got this loose flap. So what we're going to be doing is two different things, and this will be a little tricky, so I will try to do this slowly and clearly so you can see what's going on. So first, there's a triangle shape here formed by the edge of this flap here and this side and the center line. So do you see that triangle in there? So we're going to fold that triangle in half. What we're going to do is fold this top point down to that center point right there where those two flaps meet. So I'm going to try to do this so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so see how that folds over? This piece here folds over to that center point. And this edge here now lines up with this edge here of this fold. So if we fold that over, so that comes down, and then we crease it. Now we've got this triangle shape here. All right, so I'll do that again. And I'm going to turn it just so my fingers try to stay out of the way. I, I know that this is a little hard. So we've got this flap here. I am folding it so that this piece here matches up with that line right there. All right, my fingers are probably going to be in the way for a minute. Let's see, fold it down like that. So now we've got those two flaps are against those two sides there. All right, we're going to do it again so you can hopefully see what we are doing here. So this flap here is going to go down against the side of that flap there. So we're going to fold this around. I know my fingers get in the way for this. And then we crease there. So now we've got this top flap is folded down against the side of this flap here. And then I'm just going to turn a little so I can get to it more easily. So again, this final flap here, we're going to fold in half. See how that folds in half? And it's going to fold down to lay alongside this flap here. All right, so now we've got the four top points, two on each side, laying alongside these flaps that we folded in. All right, now this next step is even a little trickier, so I will try to explain what we're doing here. These side flaps that we folded in is a double layer of paper, and if you stick a thumbnail in there, it actually has some space in there. So we're talking about just one of these side flaps. One of these side flaps is made up of two pieces of paper and there's a little space in there. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have that space open a little and we are going to fold this whole triangle shape into that space. So let's try to do this slowly so you can see how this happens. And we're going to do this four times, so it doesn't matter which one you start on. We're going to be doing it to all four of them. So let's start with this one here. And again, it doesn't matter which one you choose. They're all going to be the same. So you take one of these flaps, and first we're going to do a preliminary fold just to get the crease working. So we're going to fold that whole flap over like that. So we're going to fold the whole flap over and give it a nice sharp crease so that it works well. And we can unfold it. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm folding the entire triangle flap over like that. All right, so now I'm going to stick a fingernail into this side flap to make a little pocket of space in there. I'm going to <laughs> fold this over and I'm going to stuff the point of it into that flap. And it's going to take a little bit of wiggling to get it to fit in there. But the aim is to get that entire triangle to stuff inside the side. And it, by doing that, it creates a little latch. So now it is holding this flap in place. All right, so the triangle is now stuffed inside the corner of that overhanging flap. So we're going to do this three more times, so hopefully you can see what's happening here. All right, so here we've got this triangle, this triangle that we just folded in half that's made of two pieces of paper. First, we're going to fold it with a nice sharp crease so that we get a crease for it to work with. 
All right, so now that's that piece there that's got a crease. We're going to stuff a fingernail into the pocket of this side piece so that there's somewhere to put this into. And now we're going to fold this over. We're going to lead with the point and stuff that point into that pocket and just wriggle it until it gets in there and then press it flat. Alright, so we've got two of them stuffed in there now. So now we're going to turn the whole thing over. Alright, we've got two more loose triangle pieces. So step one, for either one of them, doesn't matter what order we do these in, we're going to take this whole triangle piece and fold it over in half to give it a crease. So we did that to make the crease shape. We're going to unfold it. We're going to stick a fingernail into this space. And now we are going to fold the entire triangle point first into the pocket. So it goes in there. And now the final one. So we've got this triangle piece here. We're going to fold this over in half. Give it a nice sharp crease. We're going to unfold it. We're going to stick a finger into this overhanging flap. And now we're going to fold this point first. So we stuff the point into that space and then give it a nice sharp crease. And now we've got all four of the triangles stuffed into these side shapes. So at this point, the folding is done. You've got a hole on one end. And what you're going to do is put this to your mouth and blow into that and the paper should puff out. Right, and once you've got it puffed out, it is now a square shape. If your paper is too stiff to be able to just blow it out, then you can stick tweezers or a toothpick or something else inside it to be able to create the filled out shape. But now you have gotten an origami balloon and you can make a bunch of them and you can use them for all sorts of different fun purposes. So let me know if you have any questions at all about how to make an origami balloon and I hope you have a wonderful day.